Riley, happening now at noon, the high-profile murder trial for Jennifer Mee, known as the Hiccup Girl, came to a screeching halt today. Mee was escorted out of the courtroom in the middle of opening statements. Our Rob Munoz tells us now from the Pinellas County Courthouse, the judge is not pleased at all. Rob, what's the problem? Well, we already knew her attorneys were saying that she suffers from Tourette's, but he also stopped the courtroom today when he says he found out just late yesterday that she's also schizophrenic. And Jennifer Mee's court case came to a halt when she was taken to see a court psychologist just an hour ago and then brought back in, and it was decided that she is indeed the fit to stand trial. And we're supposed to be in the middle of opening statements right now in the murder trial against the former hiccup girl until all of these revelations happen. But she's looking at life behind bars for allegedly robbing and killing Shannon Griffin in St. Pete three years ago with two other men. Her attorneys have been claiming her Tourette's caused her hiccuping and her lack of decision making. Shannon Griffin's family feels like all this courtroom drama happening today was just a stall tactic. To, her family can still come and see her. We have to go to a graveyard to see him. You know, we ha look at pictures, look at old family, you know, videotapes of him in diapers running around, you know, him getting potty trained. Is that fair? Now, when we left the courtroom, the jury had just stepped back in, getting their directions, and we're still waiting for those opening statements. Keep watching ABC Action News at 5 for more. In Clearwater, I'm Rob Munoz, ABC Action News.